Fueled by DeathCast. The recording process. Um, do you guys, first of all, do you guys write it all on the road or is it all, do you set aside time to write and, and record a, a record? Uh, that's changed over the years too. I, I've always, since day one, I've always been the primary uh, songwriter. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a very flashy guitarist. My, my big, big passion on guitar is blues music. Um, and I just find that they can, they find a way to make one note say just as much as a crazy virtuoso musician playing 300 notes in a minute. You know what I mean? I'm like, well, that one note says so much more to me than crazy, crazy stuff. So I've always been a big fan of songwriting in general. And I, and I live by the less is more rule. And, um, when we first started writing, it would be like, okay, we're going into the studio. We've got three weeks in the studio. We need to write the record. And I would just sit down and I'd come up with guitar riffs and I'd be like, James, check out this riff. And then he would write drums to it. We'd all be there, you know, feeding off of each other, but it was still mainly me just plugging away and everyone would sort of throw ideas at me. And <clears throat> it went that way. And we'd go from having nothing to a record in like three or four weeks, it recorded, done back on the road. Now, you know, over the years, we've been granted more and more time and more leisure, leisure time and, and time to actually sit down for me to create. And, you know, now it's really cool because this last album in particular, the one that's uh, like a house on fire is coming out in May. Um, I, I would go to the studio for a few weeks. I would write and I would write and I would write and then I would leave. You know, that wasn't the end of the process. I was like, I can take my time. And then we'd leave and go on tour with shine down or Papa Roach and we'd be playing in front of like 10,000 people every night. And I'm like, Oh, the crowd loves this section. They love this vibe. They love this feel. They do this, this, this. And so I was in a really unique position where I could go back to the studio after these tours and take that live energy of the massive rock show with me to the studio. And I'm like, okay, I know that they love this. I know that this gets a great reaction. I know what people want to hear now. And I was able to sort of go back and forth from the stage to the studio and take everything that I had absorbed and taken in from these live shows around the country, around the world, and put them in our album. And it was such a it was such a crazy writing experience for me. I don't I don't think I'd ever want to go back to doing it any other way now. It was just such a cool thing to be able to take that energy, bottle it up, and just throw it at the record. Back in Stand Up and Scream and Reckless and Relentless, I wrote a lot of the lyrics with Danny, and it was a collaborative effort. And then over the years, I think, you know, I would just concentrate so hard on the music and, and and Danny sort of took the reins completely on lyrics but still still to this day Danny doesn't write any lyrics until he comes into the studio and we'll jam the song and it's like okay what does the song he I don't even send him the songs really before he comes into the studio because I want I want him to be able to get and you know this is how he writes too to get that initial energy like what does the song give you the first time you hear it and he'll just sit there and go, bah, and we'll blast it in the studio. And he'll go, okay, this gets me excited or this makes me feel this way or maybe I'm sad. And he goes into the vocal booth there and then and just um, writes lyrics on the spot. 